What's up, party people? G5 Productions in a place to be. Superman first class at the milestone, rocking out the diamond package. Let's get it. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Gerald here, excited to share with you all once again. Today, I'm at the milestone in Georgetown, Texas, rocking out the diamond package. And I'm telling you, I'm excited because there's lots of upgrades. I mean, just one is noticing that from the wood tone look that used to be here. And to give you an idea, it used to be kind of a uh, you know this vibe right here but they elected to paint everything all white so the place is looking way more vibrant lively and even uh, modernize the windows and the doors here so yeah let's go ahead and get this thing set up as soon as you guys smash that like button and subscribe to the channel now if you want to keep up with future videos well all you got to do is rock that bell let's get it to fill it up there's a green line marked inside if you don't fill that up to at least a green line and pour the nimbus in it will not heat up it's a safety thing so you don't just have your heating element going and uh the heating element is pretty much right there so far we got some good accommodations because this is pretty much what i filled up the bucket with and uh it was easy to just attach it right here and then that way i don't have to lift the nimbus into the sink and then lift it out of there with all the weight of the water in it so that's a pretty good deal and i'm just going to simply put that back and Roll this out to go plug it in somewhere. Okay, for the people, so here we go. So far we got photo booth showed up. This is the uh, color of the linen. They do change color depending on how the light hit it, but some kind of teal or whatever color that is. Uh, for now, I elected to go white on the background here. So what you see is what you get. And I do have the ability to, with a push of a button, change the whole stage area. So that's pretty much going to be my light show along with the mini Kentas right there for today. Um, so here's some pro tips, right? I use Freedom Part Hex 4s, mine are black, um, as you can see throughout the stage area at the base of the wall there. But check this out, boom! They have Freedom Par Hex 4s right here in white. And uh, tell you what, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. So the venue will be turning these on and they wanted a off-white type of vibe here. And they are everywhere, literally, that I would have put an uplight. So check it out. Just wanted to give you guys that. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better hookup than that, right? So literally everywhere that I would have considered putting an up light, they are there to include right here. So that's pretty much covered. Or oh, there's even a uh, one over here. Boom. So yeah, that's a thing. Now, what I'm going to do is, although I'm using eight of them to light up the stage area to make that my overall light show and it's going to be pretty nice once the colors get the changing in fact i'll just put it on auto for a little bit to see what you show you guys what that looks like but uh, other pro tips um, always hide your gaff tape uh, don't leave that laying around that is a hot commodity i just paid 24 dollars for this roll right here um, i got alto stealth set up that's another pro tip so one is going there this one is going to be on the same channel because i'm going to put a remote speaker about halfway in the room plug it into the wall and um, that way it'll take care of the second half of the uh, audience right there and that's going to be the k8 uh that i set up later um the other thing is always try to use some kind of cable management system so to give yourself a nice slick look uh, especially up and down poles so i'll tighten that one up just a little bit with some more velcros there but you know overall this is with the audience sees right so very nice decorations designs simple but elegant and do not want to detract from it right now here's the other thing too where there is an opportunity to uh do what makes sense i do what makes sense so a lot of times i will mount the alto stealth on the side of a k8 i don't have any velcros positioned here i can't pop out the center and put a screw right through there but you know what this here is right here on the sub transmitting directly across uh, from my table to get sound to this system uh, volume wise they both both sets sound the exact same so no worries there that one is hardwired so worst case scenario is a moment of troubleshooting and that way i don't have to uh, deal with any cable so i was going to jump a hard cable you know around there like this but given all the up lights i was going to be running and videography and photography stuff i don't want to you know do extra work so there it is right 
Um, another pro tip is a uh, hide stuff, right? Always try to hide stuff. Now, I have these up lights. They are supposed to have 16 up lights, but rather they're mine other venues, they will have 16 up lights. And to not breach a contract, I do have them on standby, ready to go at a moment's notice. So that's my setup. Eight on the stage, I'll pop eight more around the room or even reposition them as I need to. And here's a uh, light show. Let's set this up for hewing and hit auto, right? Just so everything runs really smooth here on this channel. So this is what I'm looking like so far. So imagine once the party start, everything around the room is pretty much going to be uh, static. So all of the white up lights are gonna be maintained static, but this whole entire stage uh, get to be my light show. And uh, I just find that pretty cool. Even if the Freedom Sticks are running a little fast in comparison, I don't mind to have a bit of contrast. And actually that looks like it's supposed to be there. It even draws more attention to the gobo. Now, the reason why I didn't do the gobo center stage on the uh, curtain right there, I would have literally had to put my stand somewhere in the middle because of how I'm projecting. Also, the curtain has pleats in it. So when you project from the side, it costs shadowing as in it will look great from say one end, but if you're dead center, it's really unreadable except for the big R. So I just decided to go that route with it. So that's gonna be the show for today. So let's see if I could get that to actually uh, sync, you know, in time. So let's turn off uh, all of that and restart everything and just to see what happens. So. So it looks like I got everything kind of sorta in time now. But again, if it does something like that, like it's a cool light show, you know, so that is smoking hot right there, in my opinion. Woo! So this reinforces my point when people say venues have sound systems. Number one, still charge them accordingly. If the venue sound system is there, you have to go and figure out how to use it, which takes up your time. Uh, other times there are venues with impeccable sound systems a lot of thought went into it uh, but I use my own because it's what I know and what I use and check this out from time to time I absolutely do run into this so here's a venue sound system can I make this up party people all right party people we're all set up for the ceremony now I had to uh, skip the time lapse thing because um, that's what I'm working with, right? So if there's a chance that I have to strike quickly, here's what I did because of a potential weather situation. Number one, out of one side port is my audio and power. So the things I'm not really as concerned with is the power. I would just simply unconnect this and push it into the side speaker port right there. The other thing I would do is uh, disconnect this cable from the speaker which is a power and two xlrs i will simply roll it up and put it on top and then get out of dodge uh, with the cracking which is simple on the roller pull it over get it to the sidewalk there and push it right underneath the uh, overhead cover so that would take care of that situation and one of the first things i would do is uh, in the meantime is just put that speaker in the bag so it's here ready to go and to be uh, placed in there if i need it to right uh, other than that uh, I do have one of these for video. It's, it belongs to the videographer, so they're hooked up right out of the main mix, so they're gonna get everything, music, as well as audio, uh, audio from the officiant. But in the Kraken, there's a dedicated aux that's for video, and the only thing I usually run to that is audio from the officiant, so they're, they're, got, they're already hooked up inside the box too. So that's what I'm doing for now. And in about two minutes, the official prelude music starts. Officiant's mic'd up there. So let's just go ahead and unmute and uh, go change. At the roundabout right here. Now remember, all the white up lights on the side is the venues, and I just simply matched my lights to the venue's color so there it is boom that's what that diamond package do right there y'all got a gobo going little offset to help draw more attention to it there not that it doesn't stand out on its own i did attempt to do the gobo on the curtain thing but it just didn't work out because of the pleats but there it is nevertheless nice neat setup now anything outside of a speaker and a cable butted up against the stand does not belong to me but the black up lights on the stage do belong to me and uh 
There it is. So I've got the Alto Stealth. It is transmitting from here to that speaker system entirely. And I have a stand over there with the other Stealth on it just to make sure it can transmit accordingly uh, when I bring the K8 to set up on it. For Dancing in the Clouds, I got the Nimbus. So it is set up, ready to go. The green light is on, so it is heating, but it is ready to go at full temperature. So I have my dry ice in the green bag there, ready to go. Just unplug it, dump it, roll it out to the first dance and uh, get it in. So it's going to be wonderful. And uh, right here I'm already set up for running uh, cocktail music, dinner music, uh, when it's all done with the iPad. In the meantime, I'm ready to go with Serato. Microphone checks out just great. All frequency scans are done, etc. blah, blah, blah. And so there it is, everybody. So um, yeah, everything is good. And once the party start, pretty much the uh, light show will be the stage. So I will take advantage of really, really, really just lighting this thing up. It's going to be fun. So, yep, that's it, party people. Let's get to work. take advantage of that right over near the bar area. So I just made an announcement about the photo booth while we're waiting for the bridal party to get started. And everybody's going over there right now to get in on the deal. But anyways, here's that remote speaker that I set up. So it has audio, here it is. And just to give you guys a perspective on how far away that that's transmitting from, um, I think 75 feet at least. Boop, there it is. I'm also transmitting over here wireless to this system, but this time I didn't mount the transmitter on the, uh, I mean, I didn't mount the receiver on the thingy. I just kind of set it right here. celebrate a marriage and I like to know what I'm working with so I'm Gerald I'm gonna be your DJ this afternoon so we can get somebody to hold her scenes okay
So there it is, party people, party live, party lit. Time to pack it all in, get to the house. But before I do, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and to keep up with all these new videos, all you gotta do is rock that bell. Let's load up.